Welcome to Math Window. Comparison: Which is larger, 1.01 to power 100 or 2? The right hand side is simple and easy, but the left hand side, hmm, crazy. So what shall we do? There are actually many methods to this question. Now, the left hand side, one. 0 0.01 to the power of 100. Okay, there appears a decimal point. So we hate, we always hate decimal points. So what I like to do is to transform the base. A decimal form, we can transform it into a fractional form. So now, I mean that 1.01, .01, it can be written as, look, 0.01 .01 is 1 over 100. So it can be written as 1 plus 1 over 100. An exponent 100. Very good. Then, the next step, what shall we do? Do this. 100 factors, okay, write them down. Not all of them. Some of them, okay. Then, you can think about what we're going to do next. Have you found out that the denominators from the fractions in each of the factors have the same value. They are all 100. So now, I'm going to change their values. Not whatever you want. But there's a rule behind this method. Look, the first one is 100. OK, write it down. We're going to do nothing on the first factor. But the second, hmm. I'm going to change this 100. I'm going to turn it into a bigger number. 100, I'm going to turn it into 101. The third one, 1 over 102. So the fourth one is 1 plus 1 over 103. And 2, now. Okay, now I have a question. How many factors are here? Of course, quite easy. 100, because our exponent was 100, so 100 factors. So here it is the 99th factor, and the 99th factor will have the denominator 1 over 198. Why? Because we turn the first denominator into 100, the second into 101, the third into 102, until the 99th into 198. So the last one is 1 plus 1 over 199. Have a look at it. Except for the first factor, every factor here has a greater denominator than here. Mm. However, they have the same numerator. Now, two fractions, their numerators have the same value. Their denominators don't. So the fraction with a smaller denominator will be bigger, and the fraction with a bigger denominator will be smaller. So what does it mean? So that means 1 over 100 is bigger than 1 over 101. It is also bigger than 1 over 102, until it is bigger than 1 over 199. Then, in each factor, there is a plus 1. So that means... They are equal, they are the same thing, but this is bigger, this is bigger than this, this is bigger than this, until it is bigger than this. So that means this blue term is smaller than the red term. So here is bigger or greater. Now our work is to evaluate. 1 plus 1 over 100, it is 101 
over 100 times here is 102 over 101 times 103 over 102 until here 199 over 198 and the last factor is 200 over 199 then you can see many things can be cancelled 101 101 they can cancel each other 102 102 as well 103 103 here 199 with this 199 so what will be left so the rest thing is 200 over 100 and 200 over 100 don't calculate it wrong it is of course 2 it is 2 so now what does it mean our left hand side is equal to this, is equal to this, is bigger than this, is equal to this, is equal to this, is equal to 2, is equal to our right hand side. So that means here appears a bigger. Mm. The left hand side is bigger than the right hand side. So we can get that 1.01 1 .01 to the power 100 is bigger than 2. Very good. Only 4% of people will subscribe to me. Are you one of the 4%? Give a thumbs up for this blended question. We'll see you next time.